Hey, this is Mitch. Just going to shoot you that quick video that we talked about on Facebook about how to outrank the local competition online to bring in some more clients. So we're going to talk about three things today that will help you outrank the competition and then start bringing in a lot more clients. The three things that we're going to talk about are content, backlinks, and citations. We'll take a look at your website and we'll take a look at three of your top competitors, see what they're doing, how they're getting all their traffic, and how you can beat them. So we'll get started with the content. Uh, Google likes to see about 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on a home page. That's just all these words that um, we can highlight on here. So definitely want to add a little bit of content on here. Uh, Google can also see what you save your images as. So you want to make sure you're saving them as keyword intent phrases um, and not just uh, letters and numbers. So we'll take a look at some of the competition. So H and H flooring, uh, they have a little bit of content, but really not much. They'd be pretty easy to beat. Complete flooring service, uh, they've got a little bit more content. I'd say they probably have the most so far. Um, but let's just say that we put it in a word counter and they have a thousand words of content. Then you want to have 1250 or 1500 you just want to have more than your competition in all of these areas that way you can um, outrank them and then I know that you said you also do home remodeling so I also looked up a home remodel company they have a little bit of content but again nothing too crazy so now to give you an idea of what um, the next thing we're going to talk about it's going to be backlinks. So we're going to jump in here to Arifs, which is one of the paid tools that I use that uh, helps us dissect the websites a little bit. So all a backlink is, is a link from one website to another website. And when you link the websites, they're going to pass power. So not all backlinks are created equal. You want to go after those high power backlinks. Um, you want these two numbers here, the UR and the DR, as close together as possible and as high as possible. And that's going to lead to a more powerful website. And when you have a very powerful website in Google's eyes, then they're going to start putting you at the top of the search rankings. And then you're going to start getting clicks anytime someone searches for different keywords. And we're going to go over those keywords in a minute and kind of give you an idea of the um, monthly searches that are out there and what people are looking for online. So you can see here that H&H &H has a pretty good uh, power. Would like to see this UR number a little bit higher, but they do have a very powerful website. Um, complete flooring services, not very powerful at all. They do have 272 backlinks, um, but not a lot of power coming from them. And um, back here in H&H, &H, they had 306 backlinks. Oops. <clears throat> and then the Build Nuka Strong, um, 26 backlinks coming in, not a lot of power. Um, so they'd be pretty easy to beat too. Now to give you an idea of what all that backlinking will do, we'll jump into the keywords now. Since you don't rank for any keywords, we'll just jump into your competition. So this column right here is going to be the search term on Google. This column is going to be the average monthly search volume. And this column's the KD or the keyword difficulty. It just tells us how hard and how long it's going to take to rank for these keywords. It's ranked on a scale of 0 to 100, with 0 being the easiest, 100 being the hardest. So you want to go after those high volume, low KD keywords. So you can see here, Flooring Chattanooga is searched on average 300 times a month, and it has a 7 KD. So that's really not that hard to rank for. Um, you can see that they're in the fifth position for that keyword. So they're, they're not even at the top of the first page, and they still get 21 clicks a month on that one keyword. Uh, Chattanooga Flooring, another 350 searches. Hardwood Flooring Chattanooga, 50 searches. Flooring Chattanooga TN, 40 searches. Um, hardwood Floor Sanding, Hardwood Flooring, Hardwood Floor Refinishing, and that's a zero KD. So that's the kind of ones that are very easy to go after and rank for. Uh, flooring installation. So you can see that there is a lot of search volume around Chattanooga for flooring. We'll just take a quick peek over here. 
uh, Chattanooga hardwood, Chattanooga flooring. So what you want to do is it takes a little bit of time to go through all the competition and find all the different keywords that you want to rank for. But when you find the keywords that you want to rank for, you want to put those keywords into the content on your homepage and your service pages. Then you want to push those powerful backlinks to those pages. Then you're going to start ranking for those keywords and start bringing in a lot of traffic. So if you're into remodeling too, you can see that bathroom remodeling in Chattanooga gets 150 searches a month. Chattanooga bathroom remodel, 100 searches a month. Um, and these are all fairly low KDs for, um, you know, most cities. When you get into the remodeling and the flooring, you're going to have at least double digit KDs. So these are all really um, good KDs, uh, good difficulties to go after. So the last thing we're going to talk about is citations. If I were to search flooring contractor Chattanooga, this map pack is going to pop up with the top three Google My Businesses. In order to get your Google My Business ranking in this map pack, first you want to make sure that you have a completely optimized Google My Business. So all you want to do is you want to make sure you have more pictures than everyone else, but they don't even have any pictures popping up right here. Um, or even a description. I don't know how they're ranking so high. Uh, you want to have more pictures than everyone else saved in the right format. Uh, Google likes it 1024 megapixels by 1024 megapixels saved as keyword intent phrases and also geotagged to the different service, the different areas that you service. And then down here, they don't have one either. Um, it's kind of crazy. That means it'd be fairly easy to get a Google My Business to rank in this area. Um, so right here, they're going to give you 750 characters for a description. You want to use all 750 characters um, or as close to all of them as possible and even put a few of those keywords that you want to target in here. And then you can go after citations and all the citation is is name, address, phone number listed in as many online directories as possible. That's going to be like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Hot Frog. There's hundreds that you've never heard of. And a lot of times they're also going to give you a spot for a backlink as well. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone and go after the citations to rank in the map pack. At the same time as you're going after the um, uh, backlinks to rank in the organic search rankings right here. If you have any questions about any of this or you need help rebuilding out the website to make it where it will outrank the competition and bring in more clients, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to jump on a phone call and take a little bit of a deeper dive into this with you.